With the memory of the Easter Rising fresh in our minds, I'm going behind the scenes of Guerrilla Days in Ireland to talk to the cast and director and maybe even blag apart from myself. What are they doing? They didn't receive the mobilization order in time, Commandant. They should have stayed at home. They get themselves killed and us with them. Get them off the road, fast. Yes, Commandant. The leader, the leader off the road, the house. Gallop up the lane. The are here. Gallop. Gallop. What actually uh, drew you to the story of it all? Well, it's just a great story. It's an absolute fant fantastic story. And Tom Barry, where I'm from in Cork, he's an absolute legend. It's, it's a story that has lots of different elements, you know. It, it has betrayal. Uh, it has struggle. And how do you bring that, I guess, warfare to stage? We've got guns, we have explosions, you know. Uh, and it, it's, just, it's the action itself is quite so exciting. Yeah. You know, that, that you, you will run with it, you will go with it, you will believe it. And um, you've only got four actors, but yet yeah. they play so many different characters. How cast do you... of thousands. Yes, a yeah. cast of thousands. thousands. How do you, I guess, make it convincing? The, they're so good. They are genuinely so good, you know, very, very experienced actors. And they have lots of costume changes, which helps as you're watching it. Yeah. I have a story for it, that uh, my father was sitting next to a group of people uh, at the end of the show one night. But one man turned to the other, right? The four actors came out and he said, where are the other 10? Yes, Commodore. Brendan, Brian, you play uh, two versions of the one character, uh, Tom Barry, but yet on stage, you appear at the same time. How does that work? Brendan's character is the older Tom Barry mm -hmm. and narrates the show as such. And I kind of, he kind of creates the younger version of himself and watches it kind of from from the writing desk, isn't it? Kind of? Yeah, and then yeah. The, the younger Barry kind of takes over the play in terms of the action. Tell us a bit about Tom Barry. One of the things about him is he was very, very young when he joined the British Army. Mm -hmm. And then he came back, he came back at a particular time and he was uh, around West Cork. And he was either, cons he could, some people considered him a spy, some people considered him an Irishman and he decided, mm -hmm. or he was brought into training. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he took on uh, ambushing the uh, auxiliaries and all that. Mm. So it changed the kind of the, the war of independence in, in, in West Cork. Yeah. I suppose, uh, yeah, I mean, at the age of 23, he was given the kind of responsibility for about over 100 men at times. And because he had the British war experience, the training, whatever, unlike a lot of the others, maybe, mm. uh, I suppose he was given that burden, which, you know, he, was, he took it, but I don't know, we don't know whether he was happy to take it. And how important do you think, I guess, stories like this? It's just something that you, I suppose, you can't, you can't forget. Yeah. You know, and you shouldn't forget. A country is its stories, mm -hmm. you know, and it is its heritage. And that's how we, you know, we, 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 Irish people, when they meet, they tell each other stories. That's what we do all the time, you know? Yeah. So it's very, very important to keep a story alive because it's the story of our country. I mean, I, I find it very interesting, you know, looking back and saying, you know, where was the country 90 years ago and what, what things happened, you know, where are we now? And... Well, personally, I think the best way to actually learn about a play is to get right bang in the centre of it. So, are you okay if I join in one of your rehearsals, you give me a line or something like that, and I get involved? No, that's okay. Can you be good? Well, yeah. we'll see. You will have to march long distances. Eat only when food is available. Sleep rough and be constantly on the move. Yes, sir! The British are not the equal of us. Ten minutes after the first shot was fired, they surrender. The very existence of the flying column will be an affront to the enemy. Ready! Ready. With the weapons captured from this attack, the ranks of the column swells of 14 men. Its mobility and strike capabilities will crush them. And finally, my guerrilla days had begun. Fire! Fire. 